Welcome to TechEV.com, your solution providers. This is Abhishek, and today we're going to be modifying a saved book in Lightroom. So, as we previously saw, that we can create a book by creating a new collection, and and we can simply save a book from the collection that we created, and and by saving this book, we can furthermore edit or have any other alterations in the book as per our requirement and however we want it so as you can see this was our saved book and we simply edited the front and back cover of this book as we wanted to and now what we're going to do is make further modifications and changes in the book and have a quick recap of all the functions and settings that the uh, Lightroom provides us with this so as you can see if we, I want to delete or swap or include another pictures or pages in between pages then I'm gonna simply drag a picture from one to another in order to swap it or I can click right click on image and click on add page to add another page within the page that I'm working on or add a blank page to add two blank pages because we are working on two split pages over here in between the second and fourth option and now what else we can do is collect click on two uh, separate and we can simply drag it out and change its location to wherever we want as you can see the yellow line it decides where our image is gonna be and that was just the basic editing as you can see uh, we get options and for the page layout on every single page and we can uh, change our uh, layout for any specific page whenever we want so for example if I want to create multiple uh, photos on this page so I'm gonna select a new layout for this and then furthermore I can simply drag and add any pictures that we want in this book of hours because we have created a new layout and to delete this book so we're gonna simply select one and press shift and select the last one until which we want to delete and then we're gonna right click and click on remove pages we can furthermore add any other pictures that we want in our new collection and change our layout whichever way we want to and as you can see this gives us our new format as we wanted it to and in this we can furthermore uh, fit this to the screen if we want to and right clicking on it to click uh, make sure that zoom photo to fill cell is selected furthermore we can adjust the level or the position of any single particular image if we want to and as you can see uh, the photo text in all these pictures is just showing to be photo text so we can remove all that in once by selecting the page and going to edit and clicking on selecting all text cells and unchecking the photo text over here which simply removes all the text that we wanted to get rid of we can by the way remove this by pressing i now as you can see this gives us a pretty good and decent format Furthermore, we can do many other layouts like two page spreading of a particular image and for that we can choose any other layout that we want. As you can see this gives us a pretty good layout and we can add a further another image in this one. as you can see this gives us again a very great layout because this splits the, our image into two pages and still it looks good a 
apart from this basic editing what else we can do is make changes minute changes in a singular images like this one or maybe another if we want to for example this one we're gonna first of all remove the page text and we can also get rid of photo text and then right click on this to click on zoom photo to fills now as you can see we can create padding in our cell if we want to and if not we can just simply click zoom photo to fill cell but if you want to create padding then we can have any other any particular margins in our picture to make sure that it doesn't get cut off when we actually print a book and we can delink it and we can have particular selections for the left right and top and bottom columns if you wanna make it to the uh, left bottom then we're gonna decrease the left and bottom and this gives us a pretty good image too uh, we can link all again and if we want we can have a zoom in or zoom out effect of the image if that is required too as you can see we can also change our background color in this picture to whatever we want and a background photo or a background color that we want to change if you want to change the background color we can simply change it to whatever we want but since we're gonna print it so it better looks white against a picture that we want so these were our basic functions in the book module of Lightroom now we can simply go back to our grid view and if we want to we can export the book as PDF or send the book to blurb for printing if we want we can make any further changes or any other particular change that we like so that was modifying book module in Photoshop thanks for watching please like and subscribe